Hello. Pleasure to be here in uh, in Dubai again, and uh, pleasure to be at AIBC again. I guess last last one was in uh, in Malta, but a lot, lot of familiar faces here, which is uh, which is awesome. So I'm gonna I'm gonna talk for a few minutes about where we're at now with with decentralized AI. You know, it's it's been uh, a few years since we sort of launched decentralized AI onto the scene with uh, SingularityNet, with our, our ICO in 2017. And we've been, you know, since, we, since that time, we've been building a lot of interesting things, both building out SingularityNet as a decentralized AI platform and, you know, building a host of different tools and applications on, on top of the platform. So what I want to do now is sort of give you an overview of where decentralized AI is and, and where it's going. And what, where it is now is really cool and a long way from a few years ago. And what, where it's going, of course, is the, the really, really, really exciting thing. I mean, I've been, I've been working on AI since the late 1990s. Or, excuse me, I'm losing track of time. I've been working on AI since the late 1980s, more than, more than 30 years. And, you know, at that time when I first started with AI, it was really almost entirely an academic pursuit with a bunch of stuff going on in U.S. military, not much else. I mean, now, now we see AI deployed in every, every area of, of human pursuit. I mean, and you see, you know, trillion dollar companies founded on AI and you see major, com major nations putting AI at the center of their national growth policies, right? But I think where we are now is still near the beginning in the development of AI. And I think we're in the middle of what I think of as the first of a series of three AI revolutions. I mean, the first being a narrow AI revolution, what we're seeing now, where AI is, is deployed in, in every vertical market doing highly specialized things. And I think we're gradually moving from the narrow AI revolution onto the next one, which I'd call the artificial general intelligence, AGI revolution, where AIs can really think and learn and generalize like people. And from there, it'll be on to what Nick Bostrom of Oxford has called superintelligence, AS, ASI. So from narrow AI to AGI to ASI. And I think it's pretty much unstoppable. AI is just generating too much economic value around the world for us to stop the progress from narrow AI to general intelligence to super intelligence. We can't stop it because it's just doing too much good and generating too much value. But what we, what we can do is, is guide the progress of AI. And this is where I think decentralization can be so important. You know, if we're gonna move forward from AI carrying out a whole bunch of narrow functions to AI that can really generalize, learn, and reason like people onto super intelligence. I mean, we, we want that AI as it ascends through those levels. We want that AI to be controlled in a democratic and participatory way by a really broad swath of the, of the human beings on the planet. And, you know, this is where we come to the, the value of decentralized AI an AI system composed of a decentralized network of AI agents, each of which is authored and, and controlled and guided by different people, different organizations all around the planet without the need for a, for a central controller, right? And this is, this is SingularityNet. This is the, the vision that I and my co-founders developed over a number of years and launched in 2017. In the succeeding years, we have built the SingularityNet platform we, we we've we've launched it it's out there there's a whole bunch of, of ais running on it and we built it initially on ethereum network which is, has served us well we're in the midst now of a port to the cardano platform so that agi token which is the payment token and sort of the the lifeblood of the singularity net network the agi token which is now an erc20 token We'll have, we'll have a couple flavors. There will still be the ERC-20, but there will be a Cardano native asset token. And we anticipate the bulk of development going into the, the Cardano version. And I, I'm, I'm very excited about this progress toward a, a multi-chain singularity net, as I think this, this, will, you know, this will help us achieve a level of scalability and uh, low-cost decentralized AI that, that we haven't been able to, been able to get 
so, get so far. So, yeah, I would encourage everyone with any sort of business who needs AI to optimize their business and drive it forward, which essentially means everyone, because AI is revolutionizing every, every area of industry. I mean, I would encourage anyone who needs AI in anything they're doing to, you know, think about singularity net and decentralized AI as, as the way to ach achieve your AI functions. I mean, AI, AI is growing incredibly fast. I mean, a a AI is going to dominate every industry in the world in the same way that computers and integrated circuits now dominate every industry in the world. And my objective and the objective of, of all of us at SingularityNet is, is to see decentralized AI, you know, pervade every single application in, in, in use on the planet so that as the AI on the planet gets smarter and smarter and smarter, sort of lifting us forward toward general in, in intelligence and a technological singularity and, and all that, we want that to be, you know, decentralized and democratically controlled in the, in, in the manner of, of blockchain. And we've been, we've been spreading this vision for a while. As, as many, many of you know, we have a lot of active contributors to our open source code base and members of our, our, our community and, and folks who are holding our token and leveraging our, our token on our, on our platform. And we've been engaged heavily in the last year and will be even more so in the next year as we shift focus to the Cardano native asset version of AGI token. We've been heavily focused on building a bunch of what we call layer two networks on top of SingularityNet. And I wanna, I wanna briefly, briefly talk about a few of those because these are really networks on top of a network. They're, they're decentralized networks of AIs living within the, the broader decentralized AI network that, that comprises SingularityNet and applying the SingularityNet network to various, various particular functions. So one of the more interesting is what we call Awakening Health, where we're using SingularityNet to host the neural symbolic AI brain of a humanoid robot aimed at uh, at elder care, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let our humanoid elder care robot Grace introduce herself for a minute. She's running on a blockchain-based neural symbolic uh, AI brain. Grace? I've heard about my famous older sister, Sophia. I've learned a lot from her, and I am built using the Hanson Sophia robotics platform. My own purpose and passion is to help the elderly and medical patients by helping medical professionals do their jobs better. The pandemic has showed us all that healthcare staff can be overworked and patients are often isolated, especially senior citizens. Fortunately, COVID-19 is being defeated by medical science. However, the broader issues with global medical systems are not going away anytime soon and we need new solutions. I'm starting out my medical career as a robotic nurse assistant for senior care. I am very excited to start my work with elder care patients later this year with a whole variety of health care and wellness activities. I provide companionship, empathy and even talk therapy. I can help my human friends capture their life stories to pass along to others, control technology in their rooms and communicate with their family and community. Most importantly, I will be able to use my vast AI skills and analytics to assist doctors and nurses to make more accurate diagnoses, in particular for the emerging area of neural degenerative disease. So this is Grace. This is the little sister, so to speak, of, of Sophia, who's a, 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 appeared at a, all, all, all sorts of, of different uh, events, and, and, and I'm sure most of you have have seen her before. She's the first first robot citizen made by Hanson Robotics. The Grace robot is also made by Hanson Robotics, but it's made by a, a partnership called Awakening Health, which is a partnership between SingularityNet, our enterprise software arm Singularity Studio, and, and Hanson Robotics, aimed specifically at, at healthcare and elder care, and with a decentralized blockchain-based AI brain. So her mind does symbolic reasoning and learning based on the OpenCog AGI platform, has some deep neural nets for language, language vision, and, uh, and uh, 
our audio, audio processing, and all the AI underlying all the different Grace robots that we're rolling out is connected together in a, in a blockchain backend. The scalability of the Cardano platform is going to be critical to managing all the data here and to, to preserving data sovereignty and integrity from all, all, the, all the users of the different, the different robots. So we're, we have a number of Grace robots already manufactured in the Hanson Robotics Lab in Hong Kong, and they're going to be rolling out more and more with the first deliveries to customers occurring perhaps in, uh, in, in August. And, you know, right now the Grace robot is amazing. She is a narrow AI. She's specially configured for delivery of, of, of medical services to, to elderly patients. Another fascinating layer two system we're building on Singularity Net is called True AGI. And this is based on building the next version of the OpenCog Neural Symbolic AI platform, which is called OpenCog Hyperon. And this is really aimed at building the general intelligence that can do true human-like general intelligence thinking on, on top of the decentralized platform. And, you know, this is built so we can drop it right into the Grace robot when it's ready, thus, thus massively upgrading her, her, her intelligence. But the same true AGI software running on top of the decentralized Singularity Net platform, I mean, we, we can use this same software for medical research, we can use it for supply chain, we can use it for automated, automated theorem proving. I mean, the beauty of this sort of platform is it applies across across vertical markets. And yeah, finally, I want to give a, a pitch for my, my colleague uh, Marcello Mari's talk at, at this event tomorrow. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy happy to have here at, at the event with me a whole host of our, our Singularity Net team. We have uh, Janet Adams, our, our COO, and uh, Mario Casaraghi, our, C our CFO, Mar Marcello, who's both our head of, of PR and the CEO of the Singularity DAO Layer 2 project and, and spinoff, which is, is applying Singularity Net decentralized AI technology in the, in the uh, decentralized finance space. And I think this uh, Singularity DAO plays a special role among all the Layer 2 networks we're building on Singularity Net in that you know, it provides a way to use AI applied to tokenomics and decentralized finance to help create liquidity and healthy markets for all sorts of different tokens, which includes our AGI token and it includes any tokens created by, by other projects that, that, that build on, on, to, on top of, of Singularity Net. So, you know, the beauty of AI is it applies to, ev to every single thing in every single domain. And I've shown you a few examples of here of what we're doing with our Singularity Net platform in humanoid robotics, in decentralized finance. Marcello will give a whole talk on this tomorrow. And then in, in pure AGI R&D with, with true AGI, there's, there's a bunch of other applications I didn't have time to talk about. There's a Accelerando, which applies Singularity Net AI to decentralized social media, NuNet, which applies it to decentralized processing, Sophia DAO, which, which ap applies it into various things in the arts, Rejuve, which applies it to longevity medicine. So by, by pursuing all these different applications on top of the common decentralized Singularity Net AI platform, I mean, what, what we're doing is we're, we're building the tool set and playing the seed so that as narrow AI blossoms into, into AGI, it happens in a democratic and, and decentralized way. And so this, this both works toward, toward the good of humanity because democratic and participatory AI is much more likely to be AI that's good for everyone. And I mean, it, it, it also works for the financial profit of, of, of humanity as it works for their benefit by allowing more and more people to participate in building AI systems to run on, on Singularity Net platform and, and offer their services. So yeah, I would, uh, I would, as I said already, I would encourage everyone who needs AI in the course of their business to, you know, take a look at Singularity Net platform, re reach out to the Singularity Net team, and we're very eager to work with people on, you know, bringing more and more and more AI projects and, and services, delivering value to customers into the decentralized A AI universe. Thanks a lot.